but today's video we're making white chicken chili. This recipe has a lot of steps, you're going to put a lot of effort and a lot of time into it, but believe you me, it's well worth it, so let's get to cooking. Alright, so to start this recipe off, we're going to saute our onions and garlic, and uh, what do you guys think of the new set? Thank you, Wes. Nathan. So we're going to use a little bit of olive oil. Now what we're going to do is saute this one small yellow onion. And we're just going to cook it till it gets a little bit translucent. Or for rednecks, see-through. Now two cloves of garlic. Make sure not to put that in too early. Don't want to burn it. I like to cook my garlic till I can just smell it. After you can smell your garlic, we're gonna put 30 ounces of chicken broth in. And then seven ounces of hatch green chilies. Two little cans, two little cans. Now we're gonna stir this and bring it up to a boil. All right, so uh, we had to call an audible. This one, uh, yeah, this one ain't gonna cut it. So we went with the, uh, this one is a Thermoworks. Thermoworks one. We'll see how it holds up. Man, this smells fantastic. I cannot wait for this. I'm not a big green chili guy. Well, I mean, I kind of, it just depends. I like them at like on burritos or tacos, things like that. But just to sit around and eat white chicken chili, probably not my go-to, but the ingredients in this one, this one's gonna be stellar, phenomenal. All right, so as this is coming up to temp, I'm gonna go ahead and season the stock. I'm gonna use Dirty Bird Hot and SPG, but you use what you like. Now we're not gonna get too crazy here. And then SPG, I promise you, this in almost anything, soup, chili, chicken and dumplings, phenomenal in chicken and dumplings, absolutely phenomenal. Once again, stellar. So we're gonna bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and let it simmer for 15 freaking minutes. So this has been simmering about 11 minutes, but before we move on to the next step, we gotta take our navy beans, can of beans, what other type of beans they use? Like all kinds of beans. Anyway, we're using navy beans. I'm taking one cup and adding it to this food processor that I've never used in my life but we're gonna try it. Uh, and a little bit of the stock. It says a quarter cup, but we're just gonna... Oh. This is what's gonna help thicken it up along with the cream cheese. Well, that sucker works good. Huh? I'm shocked. Damn. All right, that's what I'm talking about. You can make refried beans with this, I'm sure. It's got two settings too. Amazon finds. All right, so from here, we're gonna add our beans. Always pour away from you. So I pureed all but about, it, it, it's one cup, so I pureed about three quarters of a can. Add our puree. This absolutely smells phenomenal already. Add our corn. And now, I'm taking it this where the white part comes in. Add our cream cheese. Now this is just one stick that we softened up and cubed up just to make it melt easier. Now you're gonna wanna be stirring here. Now we're just gonna let this sit here about five to 10 minutes, stirring it up. Get everything blended in, get that Philadelphia cream cheese melted. This is gonna be a great recipe. When it's cold outside, it's just you and the missus. Looking to knock a home run. So we got the cream cheese melted. Smells fantastic. 
what we have here is some extra smoked chicken. Now, when usually I fire up the cooker, I try to put on an extra chicken or two just for this. Pull it, this is the entire chicken right here. Uh, but if you don't have smoked chicken, you can use rotisserie chicken, whatever chicken you find. It's all gonna be good. So we're gonna put this in. Be careful at this point, this thing's hot. Put in the chicken. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Woo! Cilantro, optional. You can use parsley if you like. I like cilantro, so that's what we're going in. So that was two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, one tablespoon lime juice, or juice from half a lime. So we have everything incorporated. Now we're gonna add a little bit of beer can chicken seasoning. This, I'm telling you, this takes chicken to an absolute nether level. All right, we're gonna put the lid on this, let it simmer for about another 15, 20 minutes, serve it up, get to eating. So this has been simmering about 20 minutes. I let it go a little bit longer. Looks great, smells fantastic. So let's just dig in. All right, so to dress mine up, I'm gonna use a little bit of shredded Monterey Jack, tortilla strips, diced up jalapenos, and cilantro. All right, so this thing is ripping hot. I'm the type of person I like to let my chili cool. Oh, this smells fantastic. Mm. Dude, that's freaking phenomenal, man. There's a lot going on in there. The, uh, the lime juice in there pops the sh out of this dish. This is absolute game changer. Make this recipe, don't make this recipe, I don't care. We got the recipe down in the description. You do you. I'm gonna eat out of this bowl. Peace. On today's and tortilla sips. Tortilla sips. Tortilla sips. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, 420. Is that, is that a four? I don't know. 420. 420.